All right, what is going on everybody? It's John here and I'm back with another Mother Warfare commentary oh and today God, I am going to be giving you guys my review of season one. With the release of season two being very imminent, it's actually going to be launching next week on Tuesday, I decided that today should be the day that I give you guys my review of the very first season here on Mother Warfare and basically let you guys know my opinion and thoughts about it. Now, I'm not going to lie guys, I still feel like season one went by pretty quick, even though season one was actually extended by, I think it was two weeks or or something like that when I'm mistaken because season 2 was delayed for some reason and <laughs> I still feel like it flew by I don't know man in general time has just been flying by like I keep on saying in my monthly reviews I also say this because I didn't really play Modern Warfare that much as I thought I was going to because I don't know I just I was very busy uh, with other things in the real world like school and other things like that so I just did not have a lot of time to play Modern Warfare like I used to play Black Ops 4 back then where I would play it all day it's just I've been very busy lately so, yeah, but I still, I still got a good amount of stuff to talk about, so don't worry, guys. But anyways, in this review, I am basically going to be covering most of the content that came to Mother Warfare during Season 1, such as maps, modes, weapons, the battle pass, etc. And I'm basically going to be telling you guys how I felt about each of these things and give Season 1 a rating out of 10 at the end. Obviously, I'll try not to make this video way too long because sometimes I spend way too much time on a topic, more time than I need to, and it just ends up being like a 20-minute video. So, <laughs> yeah, guys, to not take up any more time let's just go ahead and get started so the first thing i want to talk about to start this off are the maps now during season one we actually got three new maps or i should say three quote-unquote new maps introduced to modern warfare which are shipman bacon and crash now what do all three of these maps have in common that's right they're not new they're all from cop War modern warfare <laughs> That's right, we basically got three remastered maps from COD 4 Modern Warfare and nothing was new in terms of 6v6 maps. Shipman is from COD 4 Modern Warfare, Bacon is from COD 4 Modern Warfare, and Crash is from COD 4 Modern Warfare. So, again, all of the new maps that we got for 6v6 were remastered. And I know, you guys might be thinking right now, wow, that was not great at all then. That was pretty lazy for them to just, you know, give us remastered maps and say that they're quote unquote new. But you know what guys, I'm gonna be completely honest and I'm sure many of you guys may agree with me only on this part. I'm actually not mad and I'm actually a little glad as well that they brought back maps from COD 4 Modern Warfare instead of making new ones because knowing the new designs they have for the maps here in Modern Warfare with all the safe spaces, the windows, the extra buildings and all that kind of stuff, I don't think anybody including myself would have been happier to see new maps with those kind of designs over remastered maps because oh my goodness guys i'm pretty sure that i would have hated the new maps with a bunch of safe spaces windows and all that kind of stuff and instead of seeing you know remastered maps everybody wanted to see remastered maps like shipman bacon and crash and we got them but the only problem was that infinity ward decided to slightly revamp them by adding of course safe spaces windows and new rooms or new areas that were never in the original map but the only reason they added those um new areas were for safe spaces <laughs> or to count them as safe spaces so yeah the new maps were brought back kind of bad to some people but i don't know not all of them were terrible bacon to me is probably the best one even though bacon has a bunch of doors now that's pretty annoying I still think Bacon is actually a pretty good map. I they didn't really change up too much on there. Um, Crash, however, uh, that map is okay as well, but it's even more campier than it was back in COD 4 Modern Warfare. Uh, Crash was always campy, so I'm not really gonna say that. Oh yeah, Hero Modern Warfare 2019 it's even worse, which it is. But like I said, it's always been campy. But oh my goodness, guys, the doors and the windows and the new safe spaces are not helping this map at all. <laughs> and then. We have Shipman, which, oh my goodness, guys, where do I begin? I think Shipman might be the worst one, but at the same time, it could be the best one. It's like the best slash worst one because Shipman is like a hit or miss for, for me. You either spawn in and start destroying everybody and you start going off, or you spawn in and start spawn, dying, spawn, dying, spawn, dying. You get a kill, spawn, die, get a kill, spawn, die, spawn, die, get a kill, maybe another one if you're lucky, and then spawn and die. Or then die and then spawn and die. <laughs> You know what I mean, it's just a repeated pattern and it's so annoying, man. But again, Shipman is probably one of the best as well because it's very chaotic and 
it's just a lot of fun. But again, remember guys, I would still prefer these remastered maps over the new maps that they could have potentially made any time of the week because we already know that Infinity Ward's new design for maps is horrendous. <laughs> oh man, the same spaces, the extra buildings, the windows, you guys already know what I'm talking about. I don't have to keep on saying that. <laughs> but that does not necessarily mean that I would only like to see remastered maps from now on in each season. No, I would still like to see, you know, a couple of new maps that we have never seen before. And this would be like the perfect choice for me. I would like to see like two completely new maps that we have never seen before, along with two remastered maps for each season. That way, if people don't enjoy the completely new maps that we have never seen before with all the safe spaces and all that, then we can still enjoy the two remastered maps or maybe even one remastered map that came as well with the new season from an older Modern Warfare game. So, yeah, it's already been kind of confirmed and uh, shown in the teaser video that we got from Infinity Ward for Season 2 that Rust is actually going to be coming to Season 2. So, that's pretty good, but with Rust, I hope that they also bring like maybe one or two completely new maps that we have never seen before for 6v6. Remember guys, this right here is uh, specifically for 6v6. I haven't even gotten a ground war or gunfight yet. Now for 32 versus 32 ground war, we actually got one new map and that was for the Verdansk and that was actually a pretty good map, but I did not really play it that much. I only played it like, I don't know, maybe six or seven times in total because I'm not a really big fan of ground war. I was a huge fan of it during the beta, but now, I don't know, I'm more used to playing like Shoe House 24-7, even Shipment 24-7, or normal TDM. Ground War, it's just a different experience, and I enjoy 6v6 more than that. But again, Port of Verdansk is actually a really good map, and I like it. I, I, I think the Ground War maps here on Modern Warfare are actually pretty good, but again, I'm just not the biggest fan of Ground War, but I can still play it, obviously. Then for Gunfight, we got two new maps, and they actually added three, but the third one was Shipment. All they did was just add Shipment to Gunfight, so I guess we'll count it. So we got Shipment, Atrium, and Cargo. Cargo is a very cool map that actually takes place inside of Wetworks, which is a map for COD 4 Modern Warfare, and that is very cool, man. I like it when Call of Duty developers started to do that and get very creative with the maps, like for example, Cargo. You're only able to access the inside of Wetworks right there, but in COD 4 Modern Warfare, you were only able to access the outside of uh, Wetworks, so... Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. I hope one day they actually return uh, Wetworks to Modern Warfare 2019, maybe in Season 2 or 3, we'll see. And, oh man, it's just so cool, man. I love it when they do that, it's just so cool. And the map is overall pretty good. I like the layout of it. I like how you can get the high ground, you can go on the side, but if you do that, you're obviously gonna be visible to everybody, so you're kind of at a disadvantage. Or you can go on top of the containers and try to pick people off, kind of in mid, or you can go inside the containers and try to be a little sneaky. So again, that map is very cool. Atrium is the second gunfight map that came, and that one is pretty good as well. I love the layout of it, and it's pretty nice, man. I just, oh man, all the gunfight maps to me are very good. And Shipman, we already know what Shipman is like, but I think it was actually a very great addition to Gunfight. Shipman plays very well for Gunfight, so yeah, I hope they keep it forever in there, and oh man, again, Gunfight and all the new maps that came were very, very good. Moving on to the modes or the playlists, whatever you want to call them, we had quite some playlists introduced to Modern Warfare during Season 1, but most of them were actually returning playlists from older COD games, like for example, we had Infected make a return, we had Drop Zone make a return, and we also had Deathmatch Domination make a return, which was pretty cool. And I guess they also returned Capture the Flag and called it a new mode, which again, see what I mean guys? Like, a bunch of these were just returning playlists or modes, whatever you want to call them. But don't worry, we also had some new modes that we've never seen before. Like for example, we had a bunch of different variations of Gunfight, like Gunfight 2v2 Custom, which is basically Gunfight, but you can now make your own class loadout and use that. And we also had Gunfight 3v3, which was probably my favorite one right there. Oh my goodness. Gunfight 3v3 is basically what it sounds like. Instead of uh, Gunfight 2v2, it's 3v3. So it was so much fun, you know, playing on the smaller maps with a group of three people against another group of three people. And it was just, oh man, I hope they bring back that uh, mode very soon because that was a lot of fun. But yeah, guys, the modes or the playlists were just returning ones or different variations of gunfight i cannot remember i cannot remember like a completely new playlist uh, um from the top of my head right now that we've never seen but i could remember oh my goodness shipman shoot house and shoot the ship 
all those playlists just constantly uh, rotating around for each week. Like okay, one week we would have sh uh, Shipment 24/7, the other week we would have sh uh, Shoe House 24/7, and then the third week we will probably have Shoot the Ship, which is uh, Shipment and Shoe House only. I love that mode. It's actually a lot of fun, but. That was all it really was. We did not really get like completely new modes that we never saw. Again, the only new ones that we never saw were the different variations of gunfight, but that was pretty much it. So it wasn't that much, but again, it was better than nothing. Finally, moving on to the battle pass, which let me start off by saying that there were two different kinds of battle passes. You had the non paid for battle pass, which only allowed you to earn up to 20 rewards out of 100. And then you had the pay for battle pass, which was up for a thousand cop points, which is also equivalent to ten dollars. And this one allowed you to earn all a hundred rewards. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I actually liked the battle pass for season one here on Modern Warfare. The rewards were very fair, and for the first time ever, we were actually able to earn cop points by organically grinding the game and raking up tiers in the battle pass. <laughs> we were never able to do that back in Black Ops 4 or even World War 2, Black Ops 3, or any other Call of Duty game. But Modern Warfare 2019, we're actually able to earn cop points by branding the game and you can obviously use these cop points in the store to, you know, purchase items. So that was very cool and what was even better was that you were actually able to earn 1,300 cop points if I'm not mistaken if you reached tier 100 in the battle pass. So if you, let's say you bought the battle pass, which I did, for 1,000 cop points and let's say you also reached tier 100. You basically got your cop points back with 300 extra because the battle pass was up for 1,000 cop points and then you reach tier 100, you get 1,300 cop points right there. So you get 1,000 back, there you go, the ones that you spent for the battle pass and 300 extra. So yeah, I hope they do that for every season, for every battle pass, but I don't know, man. <laughs> we'll see if they'll keep on doing that because that is actually very good. That way you will never have to spend money. and. Oh yeah, the other thing I loved about the battle pass here on Modern Warfare was the fact that the two new weapons were in it. You could organically earn them by, by grinding the game and what was even better was the fact that you did not have to own the $10 battle pass to earn the weapons. They were not in that battle pass, they were in the non paid for battle pass. So all you had to do was reach about a mistake in tier, I think it was tier 15 for the Hogar 26 or tier 25 and then tier 31 for the Ram 7. So. Yeah, I just, oh my goodness guys, again, thank you Infinity War for not locking these new weapons behind the $10 battle pass because I'm pretty sure many people would have been mad if that happened. That would have basically been pay to win right there, but again, they were free for everybody and I hope that every new weapon that comes in the future are also free and available through grinding like this. The rest of the items were other cosmetics like blueprints which are variants for weapons, you also have watches, conning cards, emblems, uh, stickers, spray tags, uh, what else, you also have weapon charms, weapon stickers, you know all that kind of stuff. There were a lot of things that you could earn and oh my goodness guys I forgot to mention you were also able to earn double XP tokens, double weapon XP tokens and much more. It's just again. I love the Season 1 Battle Pass because the rewards were very fair and in my opinion I thought they were a little bit better than the ones that we had back in Black Ops 4 in those uh, Battle Passes because I don't know I just never seen um, double XP tokens and double weapon XP tokens, COD coins and all that kind of stuff available by just grinding the game organically. So. That right there, I will give that to Infinity War because that was very fair and very well done. Anyways guys, that's pretty much all I gotta say for my review on Season 1. And my final rating for Season 1 would probably be a 7 out of 10. Like I said, the rewards, the content and everything were really good, but most of the playlist updates and the maps and all that, again, they were remastered maps or returning playlists from older COD games. So we did not really get a bunch of new new content and we did hit a dry age during season one as well where we did not get content at all and they got pretty stale and boring. But again, the rewards for the battle pass and all that kind of stuff, the new maps for gunfight, the new map for ground war, all that, the new weapons, pretty good. So. I would give Season 1 for Modern Warfare a 7 out of 10, honestly, it was pretty fair. And again, this was barely the first season, so I'm hoping that it will only get better for the future seasons that will be coming. 
But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed and subscribe if you have anything and turn on post notifications so you guys are ready every single time we break upload. And let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about season one overall. What would you guys rate season one out of ten? And that you guys think the content was pretty good? Anything, let me know in the comments down below because I'm pretty curious. And remember, season two will be launching this Tuesday. So be on the lookout for that. And I'm for sure gonna be making a video covering all of the new rewards for the new battle pass for season two. So yeah guys. As I'm ready to finally make some more content on Modern Warfare, even though I've been pretty busy, like I said. But we'll see how everything goes. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go back on the grind. So for the last time, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't any, make sure to drop a like. And hope you guys have a nice and wonderful Sunday. And with all that being said, so it's been John. Ready to get back on the grind and waiting for Season 2. And hoping everything will get even better. And I'm out. Peace!